This video is a special request from several of my clients. I often get calls where they say they either cannot open up a PDF document for some reason or else it's opening up in the wrong program. So within this video, we're going to have a look at several things. We're going to have a look at how to change the defaults in Windows 10. Then we'll move on to the browsers and we'll look at how to change Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. Last, but certainly not least, we'll have a look at an Acrobat Reader itself because there are several settings in there that could prevent certain documents from opening. Hi, it's Steve here, helping you make sense of your computer. If you're new to this channel, please take a second just to hit that subscribe button down below and any programs mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box down below. So please be sure to check that out. Okay, first up, Windows 10. Where do we change the settings when it comes to Adobe Acrobat and PDF documents? Click on the Windows logo in the bottom left corner, which is your start menu. Select settings from the left hand side. Once there, click on apps. On the left, default apps. Scroll down this list all the way to the bottom where you see set defaults by app. Once the list loads up, look for Adobe Acrobat Reader DC in the list. Click on manage. And this is what you'll normally get. .pdf has been set by default to Microsoft Edge. Click on Microsoft Edge here and scroll down in this list and select Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. And that's it. You can close down your settings and your default handler for PDF documents has now been set to Adobe Acrobat. With Windows 10 out of the way, Google Chrome. Let's have a look where Google Chrome settings are. Open up Google Chrome and click on the three dots in the top right corner here. Scroll down to settings. Once you're in settings on the left hand side, click on privacy and security. Then on the right, click on site settings. Scroll down to the very bottom where you see additional content settings. Click on it. And if you scroll down, you'll see PDF documents here. Click on it once and you'll see there's two options for PDF documents in Google Chrome. One of them is to open it automatically and that's the default and you don't want it to do that. What you want to do instead is click on this button on the right, slide it over to the right hand side and now what it will do is it will download the document, the PDF documents and it will save them into your downloads folder. From there you can open it up in Adobe Acrobat Reader without any issues. Done with Chrome, on to Mozilla Firefox. Let's check the settings in Mozilla Firefox to make sure they're opening in the right spot. For Mozilla Firefox, simply click on the icon in the top right corner, scroll down to Options. Under the initial tab that opens up, which is General, just scroll about halfway down and you should see Applications. In this list, your list may only have a few items and it may be pages long. Just scroll down until you see Portable Document Format. The initial option is Save File. This is what you want to keep as your option. You always want to save files so that your scanners can kick in and properly scan the files. Then you open it from your downloads folder. Sometimes certain updates change this and it says open in Firefox. I've also seen a lot of people click on use other, then they choose Adobe Acrobat Reader here. Now this will work. However, I do caution against that. I always say download your files to scanners, whether it's a malware scanner or a virus scanner can kick in and make sure that document is clean for you. So that's the recommendation, save file, and then you should be good to go. And the last browser on our list is none other than Microsoft Edge, which is the default browser with Windows 10. Let's have a look how to change PDF in Microsoft Edge. With Microsoft Edge, one would assume that the Windows 10 settings control Edge, but no. Again, click on these three dots at the very top here. Scroll down to Settings. On the left-hand side, click on Site Permissions and scroll down on this list till you see PDF Documents. Click on it and here's your option here. Always open PDF files externally. By default, this is turned off. Make sure it's turned on. Then when you click on a PDF document on the web, it would automatically download it and save it in your Downloads folder. And then you can open it from there. Last on our list for today, is the Adobe Acrobat Reader. There are a couple of settings within that program that have confounded a lot of people and prevented certain programs from opening or certain PDF documents from opening. Let's have a look what those settings are, how to disable them temporarily, 
to see if our document will open. There are times when you try to open up a PDF document and it gives you some kind of an error. This is because of some of the security settings in Acrobat Reader. Open up Acrobat Reader, click on Edit, and under this Preferences tab, near the bottom is Security Enhanced. There are two settings in here which can potentially cause problems. And what you want to do is, if you're having a file that's giving you a problem, disable these two settings just for that one file and then re-enable them afterwards. The first thing is this Enable Protected Mode at Startup. When that's enabled, basically what Adobe has done is they've introduced some scripting in the background that is protecting your computer and mitigating and preventing security vulnerabilities in Acrobat files. So this is a good thing to have turned on. Enhanced security is basically protecting your computer from unauthorized locations. So sometimes when you open up a PDF file, it automatically goes out and tries to grab other stuff in the background. This protects you, so do not turn these off permanently. Keep these two options enabled. Unless you're having a problem with a file that you know is from a trusted site and source, and you definitely want to open it, come in here, disable these two, and that should take care of the issue for you. Well, folks, that's it for today. I hope within this program, the problems that you've been experiencing with PDF documents can be resolved. So until next time, please stay safe out there and have a fantastic day.